Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Windows Server 2019 training tutorial and this is fifth video in this series. So in this video we are going to focus on read-only domain controllers, how we can install the read-only domain controller, how we can identify it, all these things. So uh, this is fifth video and um, how to install read-only domain controller on Windows Server 2019. So basically read only domain control as you can see from the name also this is going to be a, your read only domain controller you cannot write any, anything on um, Active Directory database from read only domain controller so basically re read only domain controller does not have write access to domain uh, Active Directory database so we'll see how we can uh, identify the read only domain controllers and how we can install it so let's get in so this is the infrastructure which we are going to use in this demo so we already have two writable domain which is uh, win2k d uh, win2k 19 dc01 which is our primary dc win2k 19 dc02 which we have installed in our last video which is also a additional domain controller which is writable and this is the new server which we are going to introduce in this video so win2k 19 RODC this is going to be your read only domain controller so you can see this is also going to hold the active directory DNS active directory and DNS roles and this is going to participate in my victim for soul uh, dot local as a read only domain controller so let's verify the info so this is the first server which we have uh, win2k19 dc01 and the IP address 192.168.0.201 so this is our primary server and uh, this is our secondary server secondary domain control which is win2k19 dc02 and the IP address is 192.168.0.202 so both are our active directory server currently which holding the domain controllers roles so you can see we have two domain controllers and both are global catalog and if you go here and connect uh, chain domain controller you will see it will give you the thing what you have so we have two domain controllers and both are writable so this is good uh, and if you see here any writable domain controller so you can see it's going to connect any writable domain so by default whenever you open an active directory users in computer it's going to communicate connect with uh, any writable domain controller so this is how it works Active Directory users and computers. So, and the brand new server which we have, this is our brand new server which I have just installed Win2K19 RODC. So, nothing is configured yet. So, I'm going to rename this machine configure IP address, then uh, promote this machine as a domain uh, read only domain controller. So, I'm going to make some settings here like of the security and I'm going to change the IP address of this machine so IPv6 I don't want so I'm going to disable it and the IP address 192.168.0.203 and not going to set default gateway base because it is not required internet connection so I'm going to put my both DC IP address here as a DNS and in the alternate I am also going to put this machine IP address itself because it's going to hold the DNS role as well so we are good with IP configuration you can see so we must need to disable it and enable it so now you can see the IP address is configured and we are good now we can go ahead and join this machine in a domain so I'm going to join this machine in domain so first thing I want to rename this so win2 so win2k19 rodc and the domain name victor info soul dot local I'm going to put my credential here Welcome to the victim for soul dot local domain. So click OK. 
now we can go ahead and restart this machine so now if I go here under the user sync computer you will see here this machine is joining in my domain so this is good we are, uh, this uh, RODC server is joining in my domain so now I'm going to log in on this uh, this RODC uh, read-only domain controller by administrator account and then going to promote this server as a read-only domain control so we'll see just allow some time to get the login screen so I'm going to log in here so you can see for now I have logged in with the local administrator so who am I oops so this is local administrator of this account so I'm going to log off here and then I'm going to log in with the domain admin account so here I need to type the domain name Victor Info Soul then put the user ID administrator and then put the password for administrator so now if I go here so you can see I have logged in with the administrator account of Victor InfoSol so this is good and now we can go ahead and promote this server as a read-only domain control so I'm going to install Active Directory roles and roles on this machine. So Active Directory services, add features, click next. And then we just need to click next, next, and this is going to install these Active Directory roles and all the these feature management features. So this is good. So this is going to take some time to get the installation done for binaries of Active Directory domain services and all these management tools so we have to wait for some time it's almost 40 percent completed so now we are ready to promote this server as a domain controller so so add domain control to existing domain so we have domain which is victimfasol.local so this is good and we have a administrator credential also we are currently logged in so click next now it's going to give you the domain option domain control options so from here we we got this option read only domain control so we have to mark this uh, for example if you want to set up the read only domain control in your branch office or somewhere so you can use it so I'm going to select the read only domain control and I'm going to type my credential to directory service restore mode so click next and this is going to be RODC option this is one extra um, thing which you receive when you are promoting my, uh, domain control as a RODC so you can see a, um, basically RODC does not allow you to sync all the password for all the users like writable domain does so you have to um, you have two groups basically account that are denied to replicating password so all these accounts are not going to replicate your password and whatever password is in this group denied RODC password replication group and the password which is going to replicate to RODC is going is only uh, users computers which having uh, added to this allowed RODC uh, replication group so I'm going to leave it default and click next and we will verify this option uh, post the installation so click next and then any domain controller you can specify if you wish the way it's going to take from any any of the domain controller which is available to respond to RODC request and click next and this is going to be a default path for database log and syswall for Active Directory so click next and now this is what you are going to get uh, you are installing read only domain controller yes so this is good and what the accounts for deny what the account for allow so you have everything and let's now we can click on next it's going to run some pre-request check and all pre-request check pass successfully we are good to go and install the active directory role and promote this server as a read-only domain controller so I'm going to click on install 
so now the installation is uh, started and it's going to take some time uh, one or two minutes to get the installation done I post the installation uh, this machine is going to reboot automatically so we have to wait for some time to get this machine reboot and come up again so now if I refresh here you will see this machine is gone from here and it's added to uh, domain controls and you will see here uh, in the DC type it's going to be a global catalog but it's have only read only writes uh, so this is going to be your read only domain controller so let's wait for some time to get the installation done and reboot then we'll verify a few other things so now installation is done you are about to sign out so everything is looking good for now now machine automatically going to reboot now yeah here you go so it's rebooting now and after reboot it's going to be become a read only domain controller and uh, this infrastructure which we have created in a forest which is victor info soul dot local so let's wait for it now we are ready to log in to the server so I'm going to log in with the victor info soul administrator so post the login to this machine you will see we are able to connect to active to users and computers and we are able to can uh, install the things and create AD objects so I'm going to open uh, tools and active directory users and computers so as I said before if I go here under the users and right button you will see the new option and I am able to create the users because as I said before whenever we connect to users and computer it's automatically going to connect to any uh, writable domain control you, you can see from here so if you go here and select RODC server and click OK you will get this option uh, warning message like the selecting domain controller is read only you will not be able to perform any write operation so this is what I'm looking for if I go now and if I try to create a new users you can see I will not get the new option here so this is the first thing so this is only a read only domain controller and if you go from here if you compare these two domain controller properties uh, so this is a writable domain so you have a journal operating system member delegation location managed by dial in all options the only extra thing which we are getting on read only domain control is a password replication policy so uh, you can define which password which uh, user or group password can be replicated to this uh, RODC or and what now what you don't want so you can see uh, allow RODC password replication group is only going to allow so if I go here and see the member you can see none of user or group is a member of this um, this AD group security group so if you add here any user you are going to get the uh, you are going to basically allow that user to replicate the password with RODC so we, we are not getting add option here because we are connected to uh, read only domain control so if I go again and change domain control and now if I go here you will see I will get the option to add so if I add administrators you will see I am able to add this so now this RODC is uh, capable to restore uh, and uh, sync the password for this administrator account so in the same way you can add for password uh, users and computers to allow you can add users and mm, security groups or computers to direct uh, deny the password sync 
So, so, so this is all about installing direct to directory server as a read only domain controller which is known as a, uh, known as a RODC. So thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me in my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.